Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to set up the RGB lighting on the SteelSeries Apex Pro. I actually made a detailed review video about the Apex Pro that you can find in the description below but on today's video we're going to talk specifically about the RGB and how you can change it. Alright, so there's actually two ways that you can change the colors of your keyboard. First way is to access the illumination settings straight on your keyboard and the second way is from the application that you're going to install on your PC. Let's start with the first way straight from the keyboard. Next to our screen we have the menu button, so if you hold it for 3 seconds you're gonna access the settings. First setting as you see is the illumination. With the roller you can move up and down and it works as a button as well, so click on it to enter the illumination settings. There you'll find the presets with 5 different presets to choose. The vapor, the coast, haze, prism and orange. By clicking the roller you select the color you want. Just let you know that the roller works like a select button and the menu button works like go back button. Then you have the custom illumination option where you can create your own preset. By selecting the base you can change full colors like red, green, blue, white, yellow, purple and orange. Or you can select instead of base the breathe colors where it's gonna be the same colors as on base but this time they will have that breathe effect. Then you have also the option of breathe multicolor and there you can find two presets, the prism and the phase. Going back with the menu button there is also an option to turn off the lights of the keys. All those options was inside the base option so let's go back and see the other settings here which is the reactive. Reactive is a layer that is put it on top of your colors and it's seen when you are pressing a key. For example, we have here the ripple, the line, the fade, or you can put nothing. Then we have the AFK settings and this is the effects that will be seen when no keys are pressed for a period of time. And they're the same colors and effects that we saw on the base. And last we have the timeout which controls the AFK effect in how much time it will enable if no keys are pressed. Going back last option here is the brightness of your keys where you can increase it or decrease it until you turn it off. Ok so that was the first way to change our RGB color settings straight from our keyboard and let's try the second way with the application that we're gonna put on our PC and it's actually the better way and more advanced. You can download and install the SteelSeries JJ application from the website, when you have it ready go to the engine, after on the gear if you have more than one product from SteelSeries you will probably see it here, so select the Apex Pro. Ok, so first of all on the top left you have the profiles that you can fix and edit anytime. On the center we have different tabs, so we will go to illumination. Here you can do all the settings that we did on our keyboard and more advanced and also per key changes. Up here we have the base effects where you can turn it off, select a single color by pressing the edit over here and select your color. Then you have the ready effects like color shift, gradient, breathe. And the preset that we saw before, the Chasing Ghosts, Electric Orange, Haze, Prism, Vapor Dreams, Warp Drive and West Coast. Below the basic effect is the reactive layer that we talked before, it's the same, with the line, ripple and fade effects. You can see those when you press the key. And last as before is the AFK effects which will be seen when no keys pressed for a period of time and it's the same effects and colors to choose here as on the base. And of course you can edit after how much time you want to be shown. And on all effects you can edit the speed of the effect. You have one here on the base on reactive layer and one on the AFK effect. If you want to edit the color per key, simply select the select button over here and by holding the control button you can select the specific keys that you want to make the edit. For example, I'm holding the control button right now and I'm selecting the WASD and I want them to be blue color. And here it is, all my keys are red except the WASD which is blue. If you want to change key colors that have already the same effect, like for this example the whole keyboard except the WASD, then select one button that you want to change and select the second tool here that says select the same and will select all the other buttons that have the same effect with the one that you selected, that's gonna be all the rest of the keyboard here. 
and now you can apply changes to the selected keys. So you see for this example the whole keys will change except the WASD. Except single color you can also use the color shift, the gradient and the breathe. But not the whole keyboard preset as they will change all the keys. And this here you're watching my gaming profile that I created and have made the keys that I'm using the most with lighting and the rest keyboard is actually turned off. And that's how you edit your RGB color settings on your Steel Series Apex Pro. If you find this video useful don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more videos like this and you can watch the next video over here.